Welcome back to episode 14 of Let's Play Game of Thrones. Uh, when we left off, we were at Iron Wrath, um, talking about what strategy we're going to take. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. Oh boy, this is awkward. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Marjorie. Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I've told her that I I'm not going to. I promise I won't to. keep you long. I told her that I'm not going to speak to him, but I kind of have. I to. don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Marjorie is going to be pissed off, but... Today of was. all days. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Get over it. It doesn't affect you. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Stop being a bitch, Marjorie. Get over it. Family's more important than being your handmaiden. Gary! Easy now. Whoa. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? He wants me to desert. Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Mm. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the Wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. Sure this one's for the Boltons. Don't kill my father. After that, and sister. Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him? Yeah, yeah, I do. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you'll regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. 
Damn right you will. Well that puts the new uh, problem into the works, I guess. The spanner into the works. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you. But it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? <laughs> Sarah! It doesn't matter. It was just names. This is about you. <sighs> Look. You once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. This is one of my early choices. I'm not going. letting her send you home. Coming back into play, which is good, I guess. I mean, I probably didn't have to go after you. Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. But. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. That's not good. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Seven hells. You there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Thanks, Morgren. Oh, it's all vipers up in here in King's Landing. Yeah, I feel like it's the most dangerous place of them all. Even though it's the most civilized. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then, why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Oh, it's this guy. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest Ironwood from me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds, but what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? 
Joffrey's dying. Oh yeah, Tyrion gets accused. It's not good that we were like um, talking to him, not because they were talking to him. Oh dear. What happened? Oh. Joffrey's dead. I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Yep. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. You get to it. What a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. Mm. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if no it were to you talking. disappear, perhaps we could talk again. We better get to it before they find them. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Yeah, we need to pick this up. Hey, don't point at me. I'm just a girl in a blue dress running around. What do you expect? <gasps> Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. No. It's not worth your life. Thank you for saying that. I, I guess I better not die then. Yeah. Good. Good answer. Wait here. <laughs> I'm glad I chose I'll it. be at the door before you know it. Don't mess this up, Tom. Hello. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. I work for Lady Marjorie. Queen Marjorie. She asked me to wait here. Somehow I find that hard to believe. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! Uh, I need to make a distraction. I need to do something. Um, you! Don't move! How about I move and... Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. Okay. I'm enough, looking for a piece portal. of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. Go, go, that go. Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. Well, I'll give it a go fast. It's on his desk, right? He said that it would be on his desk. Mira, we run. Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Shit. Tyrion Strongbox. Take it. Oh, it must be in here. Take it, take it, take it. I think the Lannister guard is back. Oh no, it's the other one. Damn it! Hide. I find a way to distract them. Shit. Uh. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. 
We'll find them. Oh, he's totally gonna find me. I'm just standing behind him. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lock boxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. You better distract them, Tom, because I'm gonna be screwed in a second here. How did he not see my dress? Oh my god! Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! He started a fire, that's a pretty good division. Alright. Come on, Mira. Don't wait. Go, 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 go. You did it! How? It doesn't I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe Just two. Get the thing. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Go. Oh, I think. I think it has to be in here. It has to be. Come on, open it. This key. Oh. Come on! This key. <gasps> it worked! Is this? Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, thank the gods! Run. I found it! Finally! Let's go! Let's go. Where are we gonna go though? <coughs> I catch the bastard. Oh, I'll wring their bloody neck. Oh, that was that was scary. That was tense for a bit there. I'm glad we got it though. We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the White Hills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. Aye. The White Hills need to answer for this. It's like our livelihood. Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. Cut her down like an ironwood tree. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting me. Let me hear what she has to say before I judge her reasons. Of course. Just be wary. You see what her family's done here. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. I'll keep it on me just in case. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Yeah, I don't have to use it. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. I guess she's by the well. Why am I? Let's tell me to look at it. Could you walk any slower? Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly, white hill. Well, I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little name and, and uh, Megan. <laughs> hmm. It's too quiet. Hmm. I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> Hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a part of my early years. So long ago. Now where is Gwen? It's an X there. I think you should at least put the dagger or like hide it somewhere. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. She's got one too. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwen. Roderick, you saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Damn your father. 
He's laid waste to this land. My land. I'll have my vengeance for this. I brought you here so that you would see what's happening. So there's no need to make threats against my father. I come as a friend. Do you? Yes, I do. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come yeah, back. How did you hear? That's not good. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want to? You want us to... I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. I'll say it. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. Hey, My hey. father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin yeah. on your house. Unless you let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring. But you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I'll put on a good face and let him think whatever he likes, if that's what I have yeah, to exactly. do. It is. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. Oh. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know. But whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses. All your plans. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan, even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? So it's one of... My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit Someone to close. Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. Okay. I promise... No, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. Lord? You will, won't you? You've got a traitor. Okay, let's get Come out along, here. Duncan. Okay. I think that's a really good time to end the episode. Um... So yeah, what happened just there, basically, I promised that I will submit to Griff and that I will let him have his way, but I can't promise that I'm going to give Whitehill peace because, yeah, they have to atone for what they've done and I'll let them think they've won until we're strong enough to a point where we can fight them. Because I know there's no point fighting now because we'll lose. So I think, yeah, I'll just play along just be submissive and all that let them get a false sense of security and then when we have the chance we'll do a bit more um but yeah anyway thank you for watching and i will see you in the next episode